hello guys welcome to the c programming tutorial in today's lecture we will see how to insert element in matrix and how to display in matrix so first of all i am declaring a 2d array named as a and of size 50 row and 50 column and also m and n to store the number of rows and number of columns and i and j clear the screen and ask the user enter number of what rows scan the result percent d comma address m now enter number of column scan f percent d comma address n now we will apply two for loop to take input from the user i plus plus and one for loop one for loop for row and other for column j plus plus and here scan percent d comma address a i here j now close the both loop once again we will print i equal to 0 i smaller than n and i plus plus this loop for displaying the result for j equal to 0 j smaller than sorry here i will write m and here n and j plus plus printf person d tab comma name i j now it's looking fine and in new line change the line here right printf matrix is and this is for displaying result this loop is for display result and this loop to take input from the user so run and test the result no error enter number of rows suppose i have to enter four elements so we take two as a number of row and two as number of column now enter element so one two three and four and here one two three four matrix is this here one line we can also add printf enter element in matrices in matrix so compile no error and once again run suppose this time i will take number of rows is equal to 3 so 3 and number of column is equal to 2 now enter the element matrices is and number of rows is how many 3 and number of column is 2 and here one thing I have used and not explained is backward slash and t we put backward slash t to for tab function this is used to take a space and percent a backward n is to change the line so guys this is a simple tutorial to inter element in matrices and display the result and we have so many 
operations on matrices such as the transpose of matrix, sum of matrix, difference of matrix, and product of matrix. That all we will do in the following lecture. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, then subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.